Hey readers, happy Tuesday. For my OCPS readers, happy last day of school. With it being the last day of school, that means it's our final read aloud. Number 59, choose day at the beach. For my Ocean City friends, you have lots of beach days ahead. That's why I selected this book. Today is kind of bittersweet. It's our final read aloud. While sometimes it was a lot of work, I'm going to really, really miss reading and connecting with you in the days ahead. Thanks for reading with me throughout this whole 59 days. Thanks for loving books with me. Thanks for staying in touch. I have to say a special thank you to my film crew, my art crew, my set crew, Poppy, Marna, and Lisa. Without them, these books would not have been possible. So thank you, team. Readers, I might just have to throw in a few special summer books. So stay tuned, be safe, keep moving, keep reading, have lots of fun this summer. And don't forget, read with me. Choose Day at the Beach, written by Neil Gaiman, illustrated by Adam Rex. When Chew sneezed, ah, 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 Chew! Big things happened. It was a hot day, and Chu and his family went to the beach. Chu had an ice cream. The ice cream seller was very nice. She gave Chu an extra scoop of vanilla. Chu said hello to a crab in a rock pool. Chu's mother sat on the sand and read her book. Chu's father went into the water up to his tummy. Chu took off his sunglasses. He looked at the sea. The day was so sunny and bright. Chu's nose tickled. It was a tickling that got bigger and bigger and bigger. It was a tickling that filled his whole head. Ah! Ah, 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 chew. Uh oh, said Chew. Chew, said Chew's mother. Chew, said Chew's father. What did you do? All the people on the beach went down to look. Chew said hello to some fish. The fish looked at him. They looked sad. He waved at a family of mer pandas. The littlest mer panda waved back at him.
Chu saw a whale. The whale was very big. With the sea broken, I cannot go home, said the whale. You must put this back the way it was, said the ice cream seller, or nobody will come to the beach anymore, and they will not eat my ice cream. Please sneeze again, Chu, but Chu could not sneeze. A seagull tickled Chu's nose with a feather. Will you sneeze? said the seagull. Ah! 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 No, said Chu. Perhaps a bubbly drink will make you sneeze, said the ice cream seller. She gave Chu a fizzy drink with bubbles that went up Chu's nose. Please sneeze again, Chu. Will you sneeze now? Ah? 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 No, said Chu. All of the grown-ups were very sad. Chu will not sneeze, they said. Now the sea is broken and we cannot fix it. Then Tiny the snail climbed up to Chu's ear and whispered, Sometimes I sneeze when I see the sun. Chu took off his sunglasses. There, said Chu, everything is back just as it was before. The ice cream seller was so pleased she gave Chu another ice cream. In the sea, Chu saw a mer panda just his size. She swam over to him. Sometimes I sneeze too, she said, and then she swam away. Did you have a nice day at the beach? Asked Chu's mother and father. I had the best day at the beach, said Chu holding his seagull feather. Good night. No need for grief the or hunger. end. A thanks for reading with me. A giant thanks to my art team. 
Marna. Imagine all the people sharing my video and directing team, Poppy, you Mammal Rescue, and, you and everything else, Lisa. I'm a dreamer. Thanks for reading with me. But I'm not the only one. It's been a whale of a time. I hope someday you'll join us. Don't fret. I'll always be here to monkey around. Happy trails and see you real soon.